Okay, so the easiest way to do a handstand on an upper thigh swing. So I'm going to sit down. Fold the back and go into back pose. So holding the handles, open your legs wide and hook. Dropping down. So my head is quite low to the floor. So I can use my arms, stop swinging, put the hands down. And on the next exhale, push and keep the knees together and bend them. Once you've done that, arms are working. Try not to wobble. Slide the feet up the handles. Relax the shoulders. Look at the point in front of your fingers. So this is the handstand. Once you get really good at the handstand, other things are possible. For example, I can remove one leg and I can shift my weight and I can remove the opposite arm. So I'm gonna remove the opposite arm. And once I've done that, you can try and stay here. This is a one-handed handstand. Of course, I'm sort of cheating a little because you actually don't need your hands at all, as you know, but it still looks cool. Right, so I'm gonna slowly release. And the idea when you're doing that, when you're up, try not to be wobbling. Push strongly with the hands, squeeze strongly with the inner thighs, and that's gonna help stabilize you. The point that you're looking at isn't back here, it's in front of your hands in a triangle. These are the important tips to help you stay in the pose. So you may practice your handstand and after you finish practicing your handstand, you wanna just drop down to the floor and go into a child's pose. When you get better at your handstands, there are other things we can do and one of those other things is, is a tuck handstand. So one of those other things is a tuck handstand. So what we're gonna do with that is, just like we did in the start, we're gonna put our feet inside the hammock in mid-shin. Okay, so I'm gonna drop to mid-shin. I'm gonna put my feet in the hammock and we're gonna try to get into a tuck handstand from here. Okay, so again, I'm in front and I'm going to put one leg already inside the hammock. Once I've done that, we're ready to start. Hands go down, spread your fingers. Extend the back leg and then slowly Find your tuck. Try to get the butt over the arms. Shoulders away from ears. Push strongly and stretch up. Okay? So this is the tuck handstand, and it's a good way to start with developing your handstand practice. Eventually, your arms will become strong, and you'll be able to do a freestanding one very easily. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what we can do once you develop that. So I'm gonna do it again, but this time we're going to lift both feet off the floor. So one foot goes in, hands go down. I'm at knee level, pushing up, extending. Once I'm steady, I'm gonna take this leg I'm going to open it. All right, so that was the handstands.